Welcome to Diary of a Disabled uh, from my bed again. Um, so right now I have a lot of laundry to put away. A lot of this was actually already in my dresser but all my clothes will not fit in my dresser if they're all washed at the same time. And I have two more loads one in the washer, one in the dryer right now as we speak. My back is just on fire. Oh my gosh, I've done way too much today. Uh, I just felt good and I wanted to uh, get as much accomplished as possible, but I have a feeling I just used too many spoons and oh goodness, I still need to take the, the stormy dog to the park. And we're getting within that window where I really need to take her like right now. And oh my gosh, my back. Poor thing though. She's right here next to me, laying down. So proud of myself. I've gotten so much accomplished, but uh, uh, I've been trying to wean down about my uh, pain medication, but I don't, I don't know if I can get off of it this month. Uh, I got off the steroids. Um, and uh, I got on some uh, some of my anti-anxiety pills, which has really, really helped my edema and my mast cell activation triggers. Like my face is not as puffy as it has been, thanks to just like a day and a half of my anxiety meds. It makes such a huge difference in my edema and my face and my swelling and inflammation. It's a, it's a mast cell mediator. It really helps. Benzodiazepines really help with my mast cell activation syndrome and my trigger and my load and my inflammation. I feel so much better, even though I still feel my inflammation. I like a lot of my bloating is down. Uh, it's such a huge help. And I, and I don't even want to be on those long term. Um, but getting off the steroids, I get a rebound effect of a whole bunch of bloating and inflammation when I get off of them. And so, like in combination of coming off of steroids using uh, anti-anxiety pills really help calm down the nervous system, which is on override when I have a lot of mast cell triggers. And I can't handle all my mast cell triggers because a lot of them are out of my control for the most part. The ones that are, are in my control are my food triggers. And I understand I've been kind of eating my food triggers lately, but it's it's mostly because they're coming down off the steroids. The steroids people tend to gain weight on um, because they're typically not really working out. Um, and these are corticosteroids what I take for my, uh, for my, my chronic illness flares, for my lupus, my RA, uh, a primary immunodeficiency disease. I'm still trying to get treatment for my primary immunodeficiency disease. I got approved for it, but I have so much paperwork I need to fill out in order to try and get a, a medical or a financial assistance in order to get my biologic that I need. There's multiple options of different biologics I can try, but this is the one I really responded okay to when I tried it on a trial uh, about a year and a half ago. And so now that I finally have Medicare, they are approving of my medication, but I can't afford the copay. It's sixteen hundred dollars to like two thousand dollars a month a month for my medic my biologic for my immunodeficiency disease. And so the only thing that really helps with that is just taking steroids intermittently, and I don't want to do that. It messes with my body in so many other different ways with my pH balance, my acidity, and I just have a lot more problems with my body not producing the right things because the steroids are producing it uh, and in excess. So, but steroids also speed up processes. Um, but uh, inflammation feeds on sugar and dairy, and I've been having a little bit of dairy and sugar. A lot of sugar lately, honestly. Uh, let me let me just be real and honest here. I've had a lot of inflammation because I've been eating a lot of sugar and ice cream. Uh, I've been really, really stressed out, and 
now that uh, my stress is getting better controlled and my anxiety is more controlled with the, the medication my inflammation is going down i don't have as much edema in my face my bloating is starting to go down uh, and now it's just getting my pain a little bit more under control i don't know how i'm ever going to get off these pain medication uh, i want to so bad i it causes so many other issues but Due to an awesome, awesome new phone call update this week, I am getting another gastric emptying study, which uh, and tells me eating uh, radioactive eggs and spending seven, five, five to seven hours at the doctor's office and having repeat CT scans to check to see how long it takes for food to travel from basically my stomach and upper esophagus to digestion and it's to um, see how bad or good my gastroparesis has been but I'm pretty sure it's not going to go so great right now because I am on pain medication which causes gastroparesis it stunts the vagus nerve which the vagus nerve is one of 12 I think 12. I can't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I haven't studied my anatomy in a bit. Uh, the vagus nerve is one of the cranial nerves, but it's the one that directly ties everything to the gut. And it's a nerve. And so when pain medication dulls the receptors for nerves to receive pain, uh, it really does cause gastroparesis and paralyzed stomach where it doesn't digest things very good. And due to my mast cell activation disease, uh, it really causes a lot of upsetness in and, and my stomach and cramping and pain. And I had a little bit of pain last night. I tried eating something for the second time that I thought was fine before, but it is now causing me more and more problems. And I, like a lot of abdominal pain so I have had another food I'm gonna to have to eliminate from my diet that I can't eat and there's a uh, their type of granola bar that I was uh, trying to survive off of for some time uh, but now my body's just like nah we don't want you to have that in your body anymore we're gonna just reject that ah it is the disabled life <laughs> chronic illness life gotta love it um, so I'm trying to get my energy back to take Stormy Dog to the park. I, my back is on fire. Uh, I just, I'm on my heating pad right now. <laughs> Bunsen with my hoodie and outfit today. Today's a blue kind of day and green. I wear my green leggings. I like my sense of style stirring every day <laughs> so anyways one second drink I don't want to get hit with copyright anything uh, but I was in the, listening to the background EDC Las Vegas 2023 the movie VIP experience it got wild just while I've been doing my laundry and stuff and trying to put things away and I still need to go fill Stormy's water bottles to get ready for the park, run, play. Uh, I really think I should just give myself a break and not take her tonight. I just, she has so much energy and I haven't played with her that much today. I, I really don't want my dog to suffer for attention. Uh, just because I've been so busy doing my own, uh, trying to organize, get my things ready. I have a checklist started for my EDC. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get everything ready. It's still like a month and a half away, two months away, and uh, I'm getting nervous because I want to make sure I have everything I need for my trip. Uh, I'm going to have to go get an oil change. I need to write that on my list to do too. Things to do before I leave. I need an oil change. Uh, I'm going to bring my trailer home again soon in the next month. Hopefully my parents will allow me to have it for in their driveway for like two weeks before I leave so I can make sure I get everything packed in how I need it to and uh, 
but that's not until the beginning of May, so uh, I'm still trying to get through March and get through April, <laughs> but I have to make sure I have everything. I can't, uh, I gotta have all my medical devices and stuff with me, my blood pressure cuff and thermometer, so I can make sure to, uh, make sure that my body is handling everything as good as I can. Uh, I need to take my wagon. I need a better wagon. I've had to throw both of my wagons away because of breaking one way or another. It sucks. Uh, but I get my stuff together. I, I've got a couple of my outfits like halfway ready to go. I got another piece of my outfit yesterday. Uh, I don't know if I showed y'all. It's my uh, Cheshire Cat bikini. <laughs> I need to go to Beyond Wonderland. And so I'm going to be holding on to my Cheshire Cat stuff for some time. I have a Cheshire Cat striped dress, uh, a skirt, I have a tail, and now I have a bikini. Uh, and I'm going to definitely be wearing that bikini for uh, EDC anyways. Because I ordered a whole bunch of bikinis last year. And not a single one of them really fit right. So I'm going to have to go to some stupid department store and go try on some bikinis and try and vet, buy them that way because ordering them online really did not help me last year. I bought like six bikinis and I think I kept one and I really don't like the one I even kept. So the only bikini I really like that I have right now is the brand new one. I just got the um, Cheshire Cat one. But even then, I don't like the bottoms that much, but <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> That's my favorite bikini out of all the ones I've got, if it's the best. Uh, so, that's pretty much what's on my agenda. I have my, uh, for as far as my, like, disability stuff coming up ahead, uh, I got my uh, ultrasound and second mammogram for the lump of my boob. I got my uh, gastroparesis uh, radioactive egg test scheduled. Uh, I got the Quest Diagnostics bill thing handled and taken care of. Uh, I set up an appointment for my primary for next week. Uh, gosh, I, I have so much stuff going on. I got to try and I, mean, I have a mental checklist right now. Like, check, check, check. <laughs> the other things I'm doing. Uh, so, yeah, I've just been doing a lot around the house today. I vacuumed the main area in the house, the hallway. Uh cleaned up my area in the my office I call it out in the garage or I just sit sit there and uh, chill do my some, a lot of my video calls with my friends out there uh, and yeah well, I don't have much I'm trying to stay away here <laughs> gotta have energy to go gotta get to the park all right hope you all have a fantastic fantastic Thursday uh, I'm trying to get ready for my day tomorrow. I still need to try and figure out what I want to cook for dinner tonight. Uh, yeah. Stuff's going on. Then I have my friends that are, have been calling me like half, like in the middle of the night last night and like first thing this morning, like 6 a.m. trying to call me. Get on the game. Play with me. And like, what? No. I got so much stuff I need to do and prepare for and I'm trying to be responsible and a new phone case on my phone too. Uh, I'm getting fur mess down over there. Uh, these projects to start. I mean, what can I say? It's ADHD at its finest. I got so many different things going on. I got chores I'm cleaning and things I'm doing around the house. I got the dog to take care of. I got my paperwork disability crap to deal with. Uh, trying to figure out what clothes to get rid of because I'm about to do a big donate pile because I can't, I'm not keeping all these clothes. I, I want to be minimalist, really. Like, I'm tired of hoarding my stuff. I have a huge storage unit full of stuff I haven't seen for years and every once in a while I swap stuff out between the house and there, but I really don't use that stuff. So I almost, like, I really wish I could just get rid of everything. But I do have a lot of sentimental things and things that I have, like, to decorate my house for when I actually ever have a home again, if I ever do. Uh, I have almost a fully furnished house. It's just, uh, I can't afford anything in this economy. It sucks. So, anyways, I hope you all have a great day. I gotta go. I gotta get this dog to the park and get her dinner as soon as we get home. Because, uh... 
we're running out of that time and I don't want the sun to start setting and getting super cold out because uh yeah it's only like 60s here anyway so <laughs> time to bundle up in my coat take the dog to the park go play some frisbee throw the ball throw her stick a little bit and wear her out and work up an appetite so she's starving when she gets home have some dinner and then she can just chill the rest of the night while I uh, play video games and try and get the rest of the stuff dealt with and put away <laughs> Uh, two more of those to unload too. Uh, I'm probably just going to throw all this in the office until tomorrow and deal with it tomorrow because I just, my back hurts. I need to chill. I've been doing stuff around the house all afternoon. So, everybody else, have a great, great day. Great rest of your week. Peace out.